Big first episode. I know. Let's do this. So, okay, wait. You guys tell me. I hope I'm in the right area. Is this good? Um, maybe this. I would kick my shoes off right now, but these nails are just a little too long and they might pop off because I just glued them back on or glued them on for the first time. It's been a long time. Do I look good? Oh, wait, good. Yeah, thank you, Paul. Oh, okay, good. Uh, my shoe, I'm stuck in my jumpsuit. <laughs> it's called a throw for a reason. Just throw it. Gotta love pillows. I order pillows online all the time. These are super comfortable. Hi. I'm a mess. <laughs> this is a real moment, you know? Who, who doesn't like fits with themselves and like gidget and gadget and do all these other things that I'm doing when you have like cameras and lights and everything and a microphone. <laughs> Look at, uh, eight. That one, hi. That, that one. one. Yes. Okay, see, look at that. What's up? This is my first episode. Hoo, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's just hitting me. This is really, truly, maybe. Don't ask me where I came up with this title. It just came out. It was like, wow. Bleh. It's like, really, really, truly, yes. Everything comes from the heart. This is true. And maybe mm, you never know where life's gonna take you. So maybe this a little of that. All I know is it's landed me right here with you. So hit the subscribe button, guys. So much I wanna catch up with you on. It's kind of like a self-therapy. When you talk out loud, there's one thing to talk to yourself, but when you speak it out loud, it's almost like you hear it back and it kind of asserts a different kind of like energy into you to actually make things happen. Or maybe even to hear it and be like, no, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> that happens too. <laughs> It's okay to not be perfect because nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect, okay? I don't claim to be a pro at anything. Uh, oh, big no! Let's do it again. And I've learned in life if you just kind of go with it, we did it! Oh we did it! Life leads you to some really cool places. I'm really happy with my life, I'm happy where I am. Through the ups and the downs, it's led me right here. And it's nice to let you in, and you know, if you can relate, cool. If not, <laughs> Here we are. Let's do this together. So where am I now? I am in Los Angeles. I've been here for over 20 something years, maybe 25 years. And truly, honestly, <laughs> really, <laughs> this is the place of opportunity when it comes to my lifestyle, to everything that I do, and especially my profession. We all know, or hopefully, I don't know if you don't know, I'm an actress, I'm a singer, I'm also a businesswoman. I'm actually going, <laughs> this is crazy, in the middle of all of this craziness, I'm about to go overseas to some island, it's called Mauritius, very far away, probably about 30 hours on a flight, to go shoot a new rom-com with Netflix. And I'm so excited. I am so, so excited. Alicia Keys is one of the producers. Um, I love doing romantic comedies like Love Don't Cost a Thing, Christmas Cupid, and Snow Globe, and Falling in Love really, really killed it on Netflix. Thank you guys so much for watching worldwide. So happy that went so well. This is truly a dream come true since I was like a kid. One other great thing about it is I'm singing in the movie, and many of you guys know I am a singer. A lot of you know me as a singer first, actually, with songs like AM to PM, Dip It Low, When You Look At Me, writing for people like Justin Bieber and Jennifer Lopez. Well, lately I've taken a break from music, but I'm not done with music, and it's not out of the horizon. For those of you who are like, Christine, come on, I'm like waiting for an album, waiting for a mixtape, drop something on Spotify. I got you. I got a whole bunch of stuff, like a catalog of stuff that nobody's ever heard, so I'm hoping to drop some new music for you guys soon, and maybe this movie will do the same thing for me. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been blessed to have some really amazing people in my life. You guys know my family, my mom. Let's plant these tomatoes. Okay, you're not gonna be able to grow these tomatoes in that little bag. Here, no, something smaller like right, onions. Well, help me out, woman. Okay, bring them over here. If you have an old onion sitting in your refrigerator, and this will regrow and it'll start giving out onions from the bottom. Yeah. So don't throw this away. My sisters, if you don't know them, you're gonna get to know them. Isn't it cute? I wore this in the movie Love don't cost the thing. It's Very still fits, strong. guys. It still fits. Got to go. It's got to go somewhere. Got to go. But it can't Sorry. stay in your closet. Guys, <laughs> come on now. My beautiful daughter, Violet, she is like my world. She's my rock, my gem, and she's just crazy. Oh my gosh. We have to look at that. 
So yeah, we're not I've been looking, looking at herself. Into- really? She's such a professional. See, she's ready for this. Okay. She needs her own show. Period. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't exist when she's on camera, by the way. That's not all. <laughs> I have your attention still, right? <laughs> I have three small businesses that I'm really proud of. I have a jewelry line. I have a beignet company. Beignets? Okay, wait, what is it? Wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I have a baby gear line. Da. Let's start with number one, jewelry line. I think as you get older, you have an appreciation for collecting jewelry so that you can like pass it on to your kids rather than things that you can kind of just throw away. I like throwaways too, but I like things that I can kind of like cherish and hold on to too, like when I get old as a grandmother and like my kids start fighting over it before I die. <laughs> my best friend that I used to be roommates with, um, her name is Elizabeth Morris. Hi girl. Tried some beignets one day at the world famous Cafe du Monde. And let me tell you, honey, those things were good. Forget about your diet. Beignets are amazing. We ended up doing a food truck because we said, we're gonna go to the people. We just played around in the kitchen and that's what I do all the time. I get in the kitchen, take out all the seasonings and sometimes you just gotta try, you gotta fail until you win. And you're gonna see me on this show basically cooking just like that. We're gonna try some things. I'm not gonna be like stuck on one recipe because I might have a different taste from what they're telling me to do. Let's see what, <laughs> let's see what happens when it comes to that. I've got my AM PM baby gear line. It's with your baby. It's my first launch in the baby gear world. In January 20, 2020, I had my first little boy. It's been super exciting trying this all over again. When I first had him or when I was pregnant with him. I was looking around for baby gear, things that kind of like stood out and that was different. And I really didn't see anything that was like set apart in like a really cool fashionable way. We kind of created a line that was fashionable, cool, stylish, fun, convenient. There's nothing <laughs> worse than having a baby and you're like exhausted and you're dead inside and outside. <laughs> it's those little things, little rose gold, a little bit of leopard. It makes you feel a little cooler and just feel nicer. And of course, I do have a partner in crime slash love of my life. Hi, Matt. My French love. Wee oui, wee. Oui. He's gonna be like, you do not speak French, honey. I've taken so many French lessons, it's not working out. Hello, it's not easy. It's not like it was my native language. Then when I go to France, they're like, oh, are you speaking French? Parlez français. I'm like, oh, mm, parlez-vous parlez français pour un petit peu. I can count un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, Six, sit, wheat, nuff, this. <laughs> and your face. I can count to 10. <laughs> but so can my daughter. It's a work in progress, so shout out my French fans because of Matt. I love you. Je t'aime. And we have a son together. So he's going to be speaking French, Spanish, because I'm Cuban, and English. So got some work to do. Speaking of, we spent our summer in France. Apologies, because I'm not trying to like gloat or anything like that. I understand a lot of people had to be home, but it also caused you to be creative and do a lot of like field trips and road trips and stuff. So that has to be my mom. Oh, it's Violet. Hi, baby. Mom, you know where my invisible line is? <laughs> Say hi to the cameras. Hello. <laughs> Your Invisalign, I have like the bottom. I don't know where the top is. Can you ask grandma if she could find the case? No, 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 I can't do that. She always is getting mad. Just ask her if there's a case, if she could find something. <sighs> oh, she hung up. Well, that's my daughter. And by the way, my phone is on silent, but you know you have like the emergency people, like so no matter what, they call you, it's still gonna ring. She's on that list. Mom life, it's important, you never know. Back to what I was saying. Oh, so Violet. My family, France. We usually spend every summer in France. Matt and I have been together for three years now. We met in Saint-Tropez, and we have a house now in, uh, in Saint-Tropez. So in the summer, we go out there for like two months and just really have some family time. We went boating. We went to all these nice restaurants. We just like hang out in the pool, and Matt plays soccer with his friends because he loves soccer. This was my first summer with a baby. And so the baby was out there with us and we got to see like his mom, his dad, and his family, as well as his friends because the baby was 
was born here in Los Angeles, so the baby had a lot of time with my friends and my family here, especially during quarantine. And so he got to see his other side of the family, so it was nice. So in case you guys don't know, Matt is like a massive <laughs> French uh, pop singer. I did not know this, by the way, when I first met him. He was just hot in my eyes. But come to find out, he's extremely popular in France. People really adore him, and he's got such a great reputation. He's such a good guy. He's been like a coach on The Voice over there. He's put out like, gosh, like eight or nine albums. He's been out as an artist for like 17 years and does all these massive tours. He's definitely one to be proud of. I'm proud to be with him and he works his butt off and he loves his fans. His name's Matt Pokora. You can check him out, check out the album. He's got some cool stuff. I even did one of his music videos with him on this last album. He could dance his butt off way better than me and he's got a beautiful voice and he can play piano. Girls, that's so hot. Whew. And he's a great stepdad. Great stepdad, and he's a great dad. I'm so happy he came into my life, especially after kissing a million frogs. <laughs> I found my prince. I would love to tell you about how Matt and I met, and how the love connection began, because that's a really, really good story. The connection here with you guys really means the world to me. So if you subscribe, I just know I'm doing, I'm doing good. <laughs> Comment below, tell me how I'm doing. Really, truly, maybe? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next week and every week after that. <sighs> I'm done.